and he pokes things in our face. This leg will come towards us. This one won't, you see. This elbow will come towards us. Or the hand. This will be very large. This will be very small. And the head's about that size. You've seen that figure. And this is the leg here, you see, in the foot. We can put a calf on it if you like, and a knee, and uh, so on. And <coughs> But that was his, he started the picture with this concept. Now, he didn't, at this particular, particular time in his life, he wasn't interested in, in the, uh, what all young artists are interested in, and that's making it. He'd already made it. He was on his way out. Like I said, he should have been dead. But he wasn't. There was some tried to help him, and Raphael's boys fixed his scaffold so it collapsed, and it did. He was in their way. Greco comes to Italy after having been trained in the Greek manner, which was Byzantine. Now, <coughs> Greco, as we've said, was a very eclectic artist. He came to came to Italy knowing nothing about how the Italian worked, except his area where he was born was owned by Italy at the time. And like a hungry man, he dug in. He saw he saw art, all kinds of <coughs> concepts, and he started taking it in. So he took in everything you get from Michelangelo. In fact, he lived in the Vatican. And gave him a room there. He was really Mr. Ambitious and also truculent to boot. And he got around. <coughs> and he could, uh, <coughs> evidently, must have been a good talker. I mean, no Italian artist lived in the Vatican. Well, Greco, then, each time that he gets into something, he does it. Well, he, he leaves quite a trail when he goes up to uh, uh, Venice. He, he's picked up their attitude. He's picked up Michelangelo's attitude. He picked up the new manner out of Michelangelo's studio. He picked up the works of Fontormo. He saw the works of Beccafumi. He saw he worked supposedly with Titian. I don't. I doubt if that's true. Uh, he got involved with the composition of Tintoretto. This guy had. He was just. Totally unlike any Italian who would be in one camp or the other. This guy was in all camps. The first modern artist. That's why he developed the way he did. All right. By the time he gets back down to Rome, he hates Michelangelo because he is now he has actually gotten involved with the new manner, <laughs> the younger. Uh, I should say the, the generation that was the younger generation, by now they were all dead. But he revived this whole business of the new manor, which was called the new manor, which had gotten all around Europe. He digs it up and he goes for that. So when he comes back down to Rome, he sees Michelangelo differently. Now he's against Michelangelo. In fact, he went to the Pope and told the Pope that if he get that picture off the wall, he'd put him a good picture up there. He's the one that pushed into the picture. At the same time, he's playing with the surface. 